Hey, this is Scott, and today we're going to take a quick look at the design and build quality of the Lensbaby Velvet 56. If this is your first time to this channel, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thank you to Lensbaby for sending me this lens to review, but as always this will be my own personal honest opinion after having used the lens and any future image quality tests or anything like that, I will give you all of the files for you to make your own judgments. So I have been using this lens for a couple of weeks now, but today we're just going to take a quick look at the overall design and build quality. It is all metal, including the lens cap, and while it's not weather sealed or anything, it does feel very well made. The lens cap is actually one of the few things that I would complain about in terms of its build quality or build design. Um, it's a slide on, slide off type, but it's very, very shallow, so it doesn't take much for this lens cap to come off. I wouldn't worry about it too much since the front element is recessed quite far into the body itself, so I really wouldn't worry about it getting scratched. I'd probably very easily throw this in my bag without a lens cap and still not even worry about it, so it might not matter, but just it's kind of a weird design where it slides on and off, but it's so shallow. Otherwise, almost the entire barrel of the lens is actually the manual focus ring. It is ribbed along a certain portion of it, but there's no rubber grip. When you turn the manual focus ring, the barrel does extend to nearly twice its size. It's its shortest at infinity focus, and it's its longest at minimum focus. It has an incredibly long focus throw, almost 360 degrees, and it turns very, very smoothly and is very well weighted. It feels very nice as far as manual focus rings go. The lens goes from f1.6 to f16, and the aperture ring is clicked in full stops, and it's only marked in full stops, but uh, if you want to estimate somewhere in between there, you could if you wanted to. At infinity focus, the rear element does stick out very slightly from the back of the lens, but as you move towards close focus, it moves quite far into the barrel of the lens, and you can see quite a lot of the inside of the lens. There's absolutely no electronics on this whatsoever though, so it's not really an issue. Again, it's not weather sealed, so you shouldn't be using it in those kind of conditions anyway. As I mentioned, there's absolutely no electronics whatsoever on this lens, so that means it won't communicate with your camera. All that really means is that you won't have any EXIF data about the lens on your image, and you can't control the aperture from the camera, you have to use the aperture ring. There haven't been any issues for me as far as uh, metering goes, so you can still use aperture priority if you want to. So in terms of build quality and design, it's a very simple lens and it feels very well made. As far as that goes, I would recommend this lens for sure. We'll take a look at image quality and some of the unique characteristics of this lens in a future video, so if you want to see that, be sure to click on screen now or down in the description below when it's ready. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave it down below, I'll be sure to get back to you. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.